Good morning. I don't have any music today. Um, it's Mental Health Awareness Week. And that's where people are encouraged to help remove the stigma surrounding mental illness. I mean, it affects one in five Canadians. And they're encouraged to do it by talking about it with people. And saying things aloud and writing things and making videos. And I, I wrote a post on this uh, on Wednesday on uh, Concept Crucible, one of my blogs. I'll put it down in the show notes. Uh, this isn't the same thing as the post, but, I mean, there's a lot of overlap, or a bit of overlap, because, you know, I'm only one person, and I only have one set of experiences. But, yeah, I mean, the, the idea is that this is where we, we talk about our battles, and we show off our scars. I was diagnosed with depression when I was 12 years old. And, I mean, I figured I was a teenager and you know you're being moody and you're the only one like that and you're the only person like you in the world and etc etc and you know I figured eventually I'd figure my shit out and grow out of it and of course I didn't uh, I mean I, I'm, I'm better now than I was I don't have bad months anymore but I still have those days when it's just so heavy that I can't get out of bed I leave my room leave my house. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand depression and sadness. Um, I don't usually feel sad. I, I just, I get, ang I, I get so mad. I get so angry at me because it's, you know, it seems like weakness. I just, I mean, everyone else can do this. Why can't I? Why can't I manage to, you know, go and do the things that normal people do, like go to the store or you know, whatever without without anxiety and like I said it's it's not every day not anymore um, you know I, I have a really great group of supportive friends I have all kinds of awesome things going on in my life and I on those days I hold on to those really tightly I have all kinds of, of rituals and things that I do to help me because I think the worst part about it isn't not being able to do things. It isn't even just being furious all the time. It's that it affects my memory in a really bad way. I mean, when I'm... I, I, I don't know if this is the same for everybody. I think everybody experiences it differently. But I forget. Not phone numbers or names or birthdays. or I never remember birthdays anyway. That's what I have Facebook for. But, no, I forget successes. I forget those times when I did not, something nice for people. I forget those times when people did something nice for me. I forget all, those, all the times that I succeeded at things or that, you know, I did what... <laughs> I forget all those times when I succeeded at things or when I, you know, went above and beyond the call all gone I forget you know I forget that I can do neat things and I can play my guitar and I'm good at stuff and all I all I think is that no this is all there is is failures all there is are mistakes all that I that I have is just full of error and wasted time and half-assed tasks and I can't remember all the all the good stuff. And I have reminders. I have uh, I keep a bunch of them on this shelf because I keep things that are important to me on this shelf. This is one of my duckies. I got these on my first day of graduate school. Um, this painting was done by Dan. Um, he's the really tall one in the Wutsu picture, but he gave it to me, and he hates it. But I love it because it is a painting by a friend of mine. And he gave it to me. And I have my, my mac and cheese, which is over here, and my rock. And I might talk about these in a later video, or, or when I, you know, I play music when I can. And, and I just I try and, and remind myself about all the things I should be remembering. About all the awesome stuff that happens. 
Because it does. I just... Those are the days when I can't see it. It doesn't make it better. Uh, but it, it often makes it bearable. And I think that there's a point where that's what you hope for. I, 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 as I understand it, it isn't one of those things that gets better and goes away. You just get better at dealing with it. And I like to think that, that I have. And I keep all these things around me really close to me. So that everywhere I look in here, this is my space, everywhere I look, I don't forget. I mean, on those days when, when it's just so heavy that I can't even lift my head, I think I'm going to sit here and hold on to these things. And tomorrow, I might not be stronger all the time, but I will be strong enough to stand tall. My name is Jim Tigwell. I was diagnosed with depression when I was 12 years old. And I'm still here. Doing things that I love. I'd like to look down at the earth from above I'd miss all the places and people I love So although I might like it for one afternoon I don't want to live on the